Microplastics have been a growing environmental problem for decades. Last month, scientists have found traces of microplastics in human blood for the first time. All the microplastics and nanoplastics we are exposed to, we inhale and we ingest. That actually, you know, they, they, there's too much, so much plastic that it can even then enter our bloodstream. Microscopic particles were detected in nearly 80% of the blood samples, and some had two or even three different kinds of plastic. That means that the microplastics came from different things that we get exposed to every day. They also can be things that come off of our frying pans, like Teflon. We breathe those in. They might get into our blood. They can be nylon from clothing, and sometimes we breathe that in. Another research report published only weeks later showed microplastics were also found deep in the lungs of living humans for the first time. Raising further concerns about its potential impact on human health. Some of those plastics are already associated with things like asthma or cancer or inflammation. So that's why I think this is a wake up call. We have now found microplastics in the body. We don't know to what extent they're harmful, but we do know that components of these plastics already have been shown to be toxic. Not everything, but some things. The revelation comes amid a growing problem of plastic waste. Since 1950, two million tons of waste has been created annually, but that has increased 200-fold by 2015. And the non-degradable waste makes its way into our aquatic ecosystems, even in some areas that were previously considered clean. A 2020 study by scientists has found the annual flow of plastic in the ocean could almost triple by 2040 if we don't reduce plastic waste. And that includes capping our plastic production, limiting its use, and bringing stricter recycling models. But until then, we'll all be exposed to increasing levels of potentially toxic microplastics in our systems. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Los Angeles.